Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Okay, so in our previous video, I have go out with May, I have go out with Tatsumi, and then I have go out with Shiki. If you haven't watched those videos yet already, go and watch now. And right now, I'm going to go for Kimiko. It cost me 28 gems, but this is the last time I'll be using it. All right, so let me give you a quick recap on what it's like to be with May. May, um, we go to the dog shelter, something like that, and we got engaged. And for Tatsumi, we we become partners in you know just not just um as a partner but we we do literal like detective works and all this kind of things and for shiki we you know we are together doing some computer stuff because obviously she loves computer okay right now we are going to go for chemical i can't wait i'm not sure what to expect all right let's do this they will be stunned <laughs> really funny all right i think i'm love with chemical the realization sent me a chill through me. She never gave up on me. How can I not admire that? And she came to me for help, only to end up with nothing. I can't. S I can still see the hurt look on her face, but she realized I betrayed her. No, I didn't betray you, Kimiko. I always helped the people who come for me for advice. Just because Yuta was a hopeless case doesn't mean Kimiko has to be. I need to fix my mistake. Oh, I see. This is crazy. I will want to see till the end what actually happens. I need to find a way to save Kimiko. Alright, um... Bruh? I jumped. What? Are you okay? You were spacing out. Oh, sorry. I'm just tired. It has been a long day, but now we can finally, finally relax. It's over. I find myself unable to meet their case. Okay, let's see how it's going to be. Yeah, I'm good. think I'm going to lie down. Then I quickly, alone, I get out my phone and read through my text message with Kimiko. She, she cared about me so much, much more than anyone ever has. She would kill for me. Like literally. <laughs> this isn't her fault. Things only got twisted in her head because of Utah. Manipulate her. The, he's the real enemy. If I have gone to her, maybe it would have ended differently. She needs someone to play along with her games long enough to help her. After that, everything will be fine. I stare at the screen as talk, as though she might text me any minute now, but she can't. She has been arrested. The thoughts of Kimiko haunts me all night long. So how am I going to save her, I wonder? Excuse me. Oh, it's you. Is something wrong? I... I would like to visit someone. You mean that young man? Nope. Obviously not. No, it's Kimiko. He looks startled. I'm sorry, but due to the nature of her case, she, she isn't allowed to any visitors. And you of all people should definitely stay away from her. But I think I can help her. She sighed. Ah, uh, he sighed. I could pass along a message if you like. Ah, uh, oh. If I say some, anything suspicious, he probably won't tell her. Just say Sakura wish he could have helped her. Alright. It's not the best, but it will do. It will have to do. I wonder what what's the ending looks like. I check my phone with a sigh. Another day with no news about Kimiko. I've spent countless days thinking about her. My life feels empty and pointless. I crawl out of bed, going through the emotions, the, the motions of returning to a normal life. Tatsumi and Shiki are starting to ask questions about my behavior. Hey, what about me? I wonder. I started isolating myself more and more. I grow bored of everyone else. I can't take my mind off Kimiko. I obsess over every exchange. I could have done better. Tatsumi, Mei, and Shiki could never understand how I felt. Breaking news, I take and I look over the day's news and my breath catches this headline. Prisoners escape police custody. Oh great, early this morning, the prisoner broke free from an armed escort before making a daring escape. The prisoners, who was arrested on charges of arson, assault, and attempt murder, vanished without trace. My heart leaps. Kimiko must have gotten my message. She escaped for me. I can't let her down. Oh, this is crazy. I knew she could do it. Someone as brave and intelligent as her could do anything. I am almost frantic as I get ready for the day. I need to find Kimiko before the police do. Then, Kimiko. My heart sinks. There's no one here. I thought for sure this was where she would go. The door opened and I whirled around. Whoa, all right.
right? Hugo stands frozen for a moment, staring at me, and then she slowly enters the apartment. I can't move either. Seeing her again makes me feel afraid and thrilled at the same time. Sakura, you are here? Finally! After attempting so many murders, trying to kill your friends, trying to bomb you and all this, and I got caught eventually, and in the very end, you chose me? That's crazy, she said. Definitely. I can barely breathe. I want to help you, Kimiko. You do? More than anything else in the world, I stepped towards her. You came for me. You came to me for help, and I failed you. I'm sorry. Why did you betray me? I didn't. I, it's, it was Yuda. I want to make sure she couldn't hurt anyone else. I didn't realize how I felt about her. I thought she was responsible for the, for what happened. There are so many answers I could, I could give, but somehow only one of them makes sense now. Because now, they'll never suspect me of helping you. Then you'll stay here with me. You won't try to take me back? I swallow hard. I knew it would come to this. That's right. My mouth is dry. I have to play by her rules to save her. I'll stay here with you. Oh god. She rushed, she rushed towards me and throw her arms around me. Oh, cool stuff is happening. Okay, I sense a thrill through me like nothing I have ever felt before. The hint of barely concealed danger makes my heart race. <laughs> Maybe this won't be so bad. I'll make you happy. I know. Oh, that's crazy. I'll make you happy too, you know. Do you promise? Okay, great, yes. She steps back with an odd glint in her eyes. Am I crazy for doing this? We need to go somewhere alone, where no one can find us. And we need, all we need is each other, right? Let's go tonight, no one will suspect I'm with you. Yes, then it will just be the two of us forever. Forever. <laughs> the thought doesn't scare me somehow, it excites me. But first, I wonder what she's, she's going to do. She walks to the apartment, small stove and ignite one of the burners. What are you doing? Your phone. What? She waves her hand towards the flame. They might be able to use it to find you. You need to destroy it unless you were planning to contact someone. No, I wasn't. I take my phone from my pocket and walk over to the stove. This is it. I'll be cutting myself off entirely. I look at Kimiko. The thoughts of leaving her alone again is too painful to bear. No one would understand anyway. They all hate her. Why should I still consider them my friends when they would won't accept her? What this is crazy. Like I have been I will I'm been I'm being delusional, okay? I throw my phone into the fire. Ah we'll be together, you know. Uh alright. Good, okay. Let me see how it ends. Oh, a really dark apartment, is it? She takes my hand and lead me over to the couch. Oh, alright. Is that the end? Okay, this is also the same like um, Mei Kibiko. I oh, know, I mean Mei uh, Tatsumi and also Shiki. Okay, great. I had a dream like this once. Oh yeah, actually, really. The, the dream I had once um, in one of the episodes. Soon my friends will be wonder what have happened to me. By the time they realize we are together, it will be too late. I wonder my, my old life is gone. I will do whatever it takes to help her. I slide my hand underneath Kimiko and feel... Uh, alright, alright. I feel nice for running so long. He hands... Um, her, her shirt is tinted with blood and one of the... One of her sleeves has, you know, torn a little, and her eyes is red in color, which um is pretty cool actually. Okay, let's continue. I take a moment to look at into her eyes. Okay, she's beautiful and wow, I can't pull myself away from her. Okay, do I want to help her or I want her or do I want her? So I don't care anymore. Kimiko is the only one in my life now. That's it. I think that's the end. Whoa, just take a look at that. It's crazy. Alright, I think that's the end.